morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time no see. Apologize for the lighting, but uh, it's been slow. We're on the last today's Monday. Tomorrow's pool day. So no remakes. I'm checking traps and I've been checking these ones and I thought because we had a fresh dusting of snow I was like well it's just buried well, I went over there and looked at it today and it's actually gone don't know I don't know if I caught one of them big ass dogs and he pulled pumped a stake but it looked like it might have been caught on that 40 degree day and sometimes what happens is you drive your rebar when it's really cold outside and it freezes as it hits, as it goes through, and it locks in solid. But then when it warms up and the ground temperature and that frost line comes out of the ground, it's soft, they can pull it right out. I don't know what happened. I've been checking a gone trap for three days now. But, you wouldn't be seeing me if we didn't finally freaking connect on a damn kayak. So, we caught one. I'm so happy. It's been like two weeks. I was starting to think, just shit dirt. I think I got a bad batch of dirt, but I didn't know what it was at first. It was laying there in a ball. It looked like a scope or something. So, that's it. there it is. I don't know what to think with life right now. But, uh, he's had a rough night. It's pretty cold out there right now. We're sitting at four degrees Fahrenheit. So, we're going to get pulled up over here and kind of get on the north side of him, which is the uphill side. And we'll get him uh, dispatched. We're not remaking, so we might even pull the set and everything. So, but, alright guys, well we're going to get this one taken care of and that's pretty cool. Not a big one by any means, but it is a coyote, and it's a good catch. Duke number two. I don't know how my phone's on black and white right now. Should have already turned off, but uh, all right, guys deep catch small coyote looks like he's got a broke ear maybe with any luck we got another one down here oh I missed the smell of coyotes nothing special just coming right over this crossover and then they come up and don't go right behind me that's why I set this trap here because I see two sets of tracks come through there I should have some on that crossover, but I was afraid with the dogs. Um, so I didn't. But, uh, yeah, guys, we got us a coyote. Take a look at a closer look at him. <laughs> and hope he doesn't try to jump in the truck when I'm not looking. Timid dog. It's a real small one. And there you go, guys. Watching the sun come up. I'm taking this in because this might be the last one of the year. Number 43 in a trap, number 40. Eight for the season. Um, this one's all uh, got his finally winter coat on, so we're gonna get him dispatched, and uh, we got about six more traps on this property to check, and that'd be it for the day. We lost the coyote yesterday. 
Obviously, we lost a coyote back here sometime in the last week. Um, so, yeah. That's what we got going down. Keep you guys in the loop. Hopefully, we have a couple more. That'd be nice, but I doubt it with those few traps as we have up here. So, But uh, it's nice to catch one finally. All right, guys. I got a beaver I'm going to show you. The farmer was checking that trap for me. Um, just because it was on a spillway and it was kind of out of my way and I told him I was pulling. He's like, oh, go ahead. Leave one in there. I'll, I'll check it. When he, come, he was coming down to feed the cows and stuff. So It's a big beaver. I was having problems with traps getting knocked over and I found out why. So He's a big one. So, Alright, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the show and uh, we'll try to bring more content to you. It's just going to be a little more sporadic. You can see I'm having a rough beard day to day. All right, we'll take care. We'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, not much on the trap line. This is a trap the farmer called me about and said, hey, you got something. So you guys know how big a cow is, right? Look how big that damn beaver is. She's a good girl. Just curious. So it looks like a 220, but it's a it's a 330. Look how that guy was not going through that 330. That's a big old buddy. Let's see if she'll let me pet her. They're pretty curious. No, she don't like me. Which what are you? What are you? Nine twenty-three or four twenty-three? She's a good girl. Yeah, that's a. Like I said, that's a three thirty. It's crazy. That is absolutely nuts. Just hanging out with the cows. I think these are probably closer to halves. Or calves. They're very healthy. They're eating real good down here. I called the whole herd in. So. But that explains. I had problems with uh, my 330s getting set off with nothing in them. That was probably this big bastard. You just lay on top of them. But uh, we finally got them. So I gotta change up plans because if I got beaver this big in this hole, I gotta change my trapping style. That's uh, damn near an 80 pound beaver. It's four foot long from nose to tail right now. Tip of the, the edge of the back of the tail. I'll let you guys know. I'll try to weigh them when I go home.